Dozens gathered at a memorial for the two boys who were shot and killed yesterday in West Valley. And for the first time, we are hearing from the immediate family of one of those boys. New specials Matt Rascone is there and spoke to his sisters. An emotional interview, I'd imagine, Matt. Yeah, as you can only imagine, they are just devastated. And tonight, they were among so many who, for a second night in a row, gathered here on the sidewalk to remember those two boys gone too soon. Hardly a moment has gone by. It hurts a lot. Since the crime scene cleared. But when someone hasn't been here at 4100 South and Mountain View Corridor. We're going to keep fighting for him. As the moon came out, so did the crowd. On the spot were 14-year-old Tavani Lapati and 15-year-old Paul Tahi. Devastating, heartbroken. Were killed. I can't believe he's gone. Paul's older sister, Melalupe, says he was the only boy in a family of seven girls. He played quarterback at Hunter High, where she says he was a leader. Everyone looked up to him on the field and out. He was just a great person. He's my baby brother. That's why I'm just so it just kind of hit. Sister Mary Jane to find out the news. flew in from out of state to be at the memorial. Just how humbling it is to uh, witness all these lives um, Paul's touched in such a um, short amount of time. Coaches say Paul and Tavani had bright futures ahead on the field and in life. That was tragically cut short Thursday when they and teammate Ephraim Asiata were shot on the sidewalk. He was a good person. And it's sad that he's not here. But no matter how far from here he and Tavani may be. It's hard. He's just on my mind now forever. The memories of them are closer than they've ever been. And no one's going to ever forget about him. He's always going to be remembered and loved and missed. Such a difficult situation for so many. And back out here live, you see there are still many people gathered around that memorial where there are balloons, notes, candles, and postcards for those two boys. The third boy who was shot remains in the hospital tonight. Guys. This is also heartbreaking. Matt, thank you.